Hello, welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is uh, Louis Palladini and tonight, you know, I'd like to show you how to do something that uh, can add to all your little animals that you make and I want to show you how to do scenery and I'm going to show you how to do that from start to finish. I have this piece right here and I will show you how to do, tonight we're going to do, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to do like a, a log stump, a log that's laying down on the ground and a couple of rocks and I will show and then I'll show you how to make the base and this you know these techniques that I was showing you tonight you'll be able to use them in any kind of diorama or anything for school or you know and you might even be able to incorporate an animal like what I'd like to maybe do in the future is maybe put like maybe a little tiger cub or something so I can put them on the log but you know I'll, I'll show you how to do that but I want to concentrate on the scenery tonight what I'll show this uh, different types of clay that you can use there's an oil-based clay such as this, which never hardens. It's a great clay. I've mentioned in the past that I used, this, used to use this all the time when I was a kid. I used to make all kinds of clay sculptures. Then when I get bored of them, I make new ones. And that's what I loved about this clay. It was, it, it was a beautiful clay to use. Another type of clay that you can use is an air-hardening clay such as this, which in a couple hours or overnight it will harden, and then you can paint it. And the disadvantage of this one, you wouldn't be able to use it again once you've used it, but it, uh, it is a very good clay if you want to keep something permanent. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven at about 275 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. It makes a tremendous amount of detail, and that's what I love about this clay, that you can, uh, you know, you can sand it, drill it, you can do all kinds of things with it. I'll show you the t size clay balls that we are going to use tonight. There I will, there's this size right here, and this is what we'll be using for the base. And then we have another size right here, that's what we'll be using for the log stump. And then the other sizes that we will use are these two pieces of clay here and those will be used to make the rocks and then the other piece of clay that we have this one right here this will be using to make the log that's lying down on its side so the first step in this process is I want to make the the base but I'm, before I do that I'm going to show you the tools that you should have tonight you can this is tin foil which can be bought in the supermarket or you know so what you do is you'll crinkle this up and we're going to use that to make the base. And then we also want to use this, I'm going to use this wood, like uh, almost looks like a popsicle stick. And we'll be using that to make the rocks. And then I have some little sculpting tools that we can use, which are th these sizes here. You know, we can, we can e use either one. See, they get nice triangular points there at the top. And uh, that, that's what we'll be using to kind of carve out the, the log. But I'll show you what the package looks like. If you want to buy these in an art store, there's, they come in a package just like this. There's other tools in there, but uh, I'll, we'll just concentrate on the ones I showed you tonight. You can get these in any art store. And they're probably like seven or eight bucks, but they're, but they're awesome tools to use. The first thing that we want to make is the base. So I'm going to take this ball of clay here, and we're going to take this and kind of squeeze that with your fingers like this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make that nice and flat. So you just kind of work it like that. You can maybe even squeeze it like that. See, I'm kind of squeezing that with my hands to kind of lay it out. Just kind of work it like that with your fingers. It's good, good exercise to work the fingers like that, though. Because uh, over time, you know, you'll be able to sculpt all kinds of little animals and things. And it makes your fingers stronger for doing that and working the clay. So just kind of work it like that. I'm going to kind of stretch it out this way because we want it, uh, so I'm just kind of pulling on it. So just kind of pull it like that. Just kind of work it. And the next step that we want to do is I want to take and put this on the, the table. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this down and just going to kind of press it down like that. Take your fingers and just kind of press into it like that to make that nice little base. 
So you want to make that nice and flat in the bottom. So now I'm just going to take and work it like that. Just kind of work it. Like that would be great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this tin foil now, and we're going to take and we're just going to work it into the into the uh, the clay like this. Take just kind of push down like this. So I'm just pushing like that. I'll pick this up in a minute so you can kind of see the texture. And just give a little twist. It gives a really nice texture when you do this. It's a nice technique, you know, to create that nice ground cover. You just keep working it like that. Just gonna just do that. And I'm just gonna kinda go all the way around, make sure I didn't miss anything. So the texture that you created, I'll pick this up so you can see it. You can see the detail. See that nice texture? Beautiful texture. And I, I really like that. It's a, it's a very quick and effective technique to make the, the ground cover. The next thing that we want to do is we probably want to make a couple of those rocks. So I'm going to take these two balls of clay here and we're going to place them on we're going to put one, one ball here. I'm going, to just, I'm going to place this on like this and just kind of work it in like that. And we're going to just kind of press that down into the clay like that. And I'll, I'll lift that so you can see it. The, see how we just kind of place that on there? And we're going to take and we're going to work the popsicle stick in there in a minute. But I'm going to take and place the other one on there. I'm going to take this piece of clay here and just kind of press it down like that. I'll move that out of the way. Just kind of work that in like that with your, your fingers, kind of put it in there like that. Like that. And then what we can do is I like to, I'm going to take the popsicle stick now, and we can just kind of press this into the ball of clay here. I might just pick this up so you get a better view of it. Then I just take and you kind of make little indentations and things in here. Like that. You know, you just kind of go around and make little indentations like that. And then we're going to do the same to the other one. So we're going to take that and just kind of work it like that. Just kind of make little indentations and things. And then what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to put this back down on the table, and now we're going to take our tin foil again, and we're just going to kind of like tap that, so it kind of gives it a nice little effect. Just kind of tap it all around the rock like that, and you know, it's a very cool way of creating some rocks. And then we're going to do the same to the other one. Just kind of tap it. Just going to work like that. And I will show you, I'm going to pick that up, how we just work that in. See how nicely that looks? That nice texture. You just created a couple of cool little looking little rocks. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to take and create our log. So I'm going to take this ball of clay here and we're going to roll it on the table. So what I'm going to do is I'll move this aside. We'll take and place this here and just kind of roll this out like this. Just going to roll it like that. Now, I'll show you. See, you get that nice log shape right now. So what we're going to do now is we'll probably place that on the clay now. I'm going to put this, bring this back here, and we're just going to place that on there like that. So what we want to do now is we want to take our tool now. We can take either one. I think I think we'll we'll start with this one. See, it's got the nice triangular head here, and you're going to use the corner of it to kind of create the texture for the log. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go like this 
and we're going to just, you just kind of take a little bit out of the time. You just kind of, you take it. I'll just show you. Just kind of work it like this. You might squiggle a little bit. Just kind of just work it like that. Just kind of just run it along the log like that. And we're going to proceed to do the other side too. I want to make sure that we do that nicely. It's almost there. Just want to do a little bit more on the side. Just kind of carve it out like that. And that looks, that looks pretty nice, I think. Another little thing that we can do is I do have a little bit of extra clay here. We can take and make like a little branch off there. I'm going to take, with the additive technique, take a little bit of this clay off here, and we're going to create another branch. So what I'm going to do is take and roll this on the table a little bit, like this. I'm going to create another little branch to go with that. So you kind of see that little, see that little branch? You know, it's almost like a miniature log in itself. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to attach that to the log here, right about here. Kind of work that in like that. And we can take our trusty little tool and maybe go see this other side here. We can take and kind of push that clay in there to attach it and we will I want to kind of rest that on the the uh, clay now and what we're going to do is we're going to take this tool now just kind of work the, try to thin that a little bit take the tool and just kind of go take a little bit off at a time like this Do that. Oh, that's nice. The next thing that we want to do is we want to work on the ends of the log. This is a little metal tool that I have. That I, I this is my trusty little tool. I really like this one. But you can use a toothpick and do the same thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and we're going to go down here, down to the end of this log here, and kind of take. See, I'm just kind of carving that out a little bit and just kind of take and just go like that see I'm just you want to make it look like the, the log is rotting on the end like that so you just kind of take and, and and then you might you might even want to peel this back a little bit you know it gives a really nice texture as though the the, 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 the log is like rotting and falling apart I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take and I'm going to flip this around and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. The um, Right there. See how I'm just taking that and you can just work it like that. You know, with a toothpick you can do the exact same thing. It just, the, uh, you go like that. going to work that in. You want to make this look like this side's rotting too. And then the other piece right here, the other little piece that we attach, you want to do the same thing. So just kind of take that and kind of work it like that. Take the tool and just kind of do that. So I'll show you the way it should look now. See the tree? The log? And then see what we did to the end here? Isn't that nice? You made it look like the, the end of it's, by doing that texture, you're creating the effect that it's rotting out. And you're doing the, the same thing over here. And then you're doing the same thing here. And it creates a very nice effect. The one last thing that we want to do is we're going to take our tool. And if we want, we can just maybe sculpt out a little hole here to kind of create like another little hole here. 
So you take this and kind of sculpt that out. And then we're going to take our, the tool, which you'll, you'll use a toothpick, and just kind of take and rough that up a little bit like that. Kind of peel that back a little bit. You want to make it look like that's like a little rotting hole there. So see that? So this is your uh, what your piece should look like when it's completed, and I'll show you what it looked like looks like when I fired it. The oh, there's there's one other thing that I would like to add to this. I did mention the stump. So what we're going to do is take this ball of clay here. And I'm going to take and put this down here now. And we're going to roll it a little bit. Like that. We're going to create. And you might want to, at the bottom, you just might want to make that a little wider. Like that. And I'll show you the shape that you kind of want. And I'm going to take and I'm going to tap that on the, the table. And I'm going to get another little piece of clay, a couple of pieces of clay. We're going to create like will look like some little roots. I'm going to get about three pieces of clay. And we're going to take, and you can take these pieces of clay and roll them in your fingers like this. See this piece? This is what it looks like. You're going to make three of these. So I will take and I will attach these like right here. See how I kind of working that in? You want to make it look like it's a, a root, like at the bottom of the tree. And we will proceed to make two, uh, two other ones. I'll take and roll this on my fingers. You can see this. And we'll take and put that on the other side here. And we'll just kind of work that. Just kind of work it in like that. And we're going to take and we're going to use, make one more. And then I'll show you the way it should look. Just roll this in your fingers like this. And this is the last root. I'm going to take and place this on the other side right here and just kind of press that into your log or stump and kind of work that in like that. So this is what it will look like. See how I just kind of attach those? Just attach a piece of clay on the side like that. And what we want to do now is we're going to take our sculpting tool and we're going to do the same thing we did with the log and just kind of carve it out like that. Just kind of, and you're going to go all the way around and do that. You're going to carve like that. And the one thing that, and even on the roots, you just you carve it a little bit. And I'll show you what it should look like when it's completed. What you want to do to the top also is you want to take your toothpick. I'm going to use my little tool here and kind of we're going to work it a little bit like this. See this? And we can take our sculpting tool and we can also sculpt this out a little bit. See, I'm scooping that out. Scoop out the clay a little bit with this. Just like that. And what we can do now is we want to rough this up a little bit with, the, with your tool or toothpick. And see how I'm just kind of roughing that up. You want to make it look like it's rotting inside. So you just kind of rough it up a little bit like that. And it gives a really nice effect by doing that. So that's what it will look like. You know, I'm not going to complete the, the stump is, uh, is, is in the fired version. I'll just show you. You probably want to place it on the side like this here. See that? So you just kind of place it on the side. And then we'll, I'll show you what the unpainted version looks like. See the stump now? See how I carved that out here? You, uh, you carve it out nice, make it look like it's rotting inside. See the nice texture by carving that out with the technique I just showed you? You do that, and as you can see this log here, the nice texture there, with, uh, and then the rocks. And this is what it looks like before it's painted. Now, we're going to use acrylic paints, which can be bought in any art store, and we're going to use uh, green, brown, and gray. So I'll proceed to show you how to what colors we want. You got brown, 
we want gray and we want green. And I'll show you the, the types of brushes that we need to use. We have several different brushes. We can use this size brush here. And that size there we'll use for doing the, the log. And then we're going to use a smaller brush, I think, for doing the rocks. We'll use this size here. And then for the ground, the green, we will use this size here. So I'll proceed to show you how we should paint this. We're going to paint the green first. And I'm going to dip that in. So what we want to do is I'll pick this up and I'll show you. You just kind of want to take this and go back and forth like this. Back and forth like this, back and forth. Just kind of working it. And don't worry if you get some on the rocks or the log. You can always touch that up afterward if you, you, you get paint on there. And that's the beauty of the paint. You know, you can just uh, paint over it afterward. So we'll proceed to do all the ground cover like this. You're going to go back and forth, back and forth like that. Back and forth, back and forth. You know, very simple technique, back and forth, back and forth, and then just kind of dab in there, and back and forth. And you'll proceed to paint the whole base in that manner. I'll show you now how to paint the rocks. The rocks here are going to be gray. So I'll take the gray paint, I'm going to move this aside, and then we're going to do the rocks. So we'll take and do the rocks. So these rocks right here, I'm going to paint this the gray color. And just back and forth, back and forth. And then you can dab it too because that way you can make sure that you're filling in every, every place that you should be filling in. And just kind of go all the way around like that. See how I'm going around? And you want to, and then, you know, there's some areas you might need to dab just to make sure you get into them. And we're just going to go all the way around like this and paint it. And we're going to proceed to do the other rock in the same manner. So just going to paint this rock here. And you'll do the rock, do all the way around the rock the way we did the other one. So the next step that we want to take is we want to paint the log. So on the log, we're going to go back and forth, back and forth like this. See, I'm going in the back and forth manner. Back and forth. I'm going to paint the entire log in that manner. Back and forth. You're going to paint, you want to paint the entire log that way. You even want to do the ends that way too. So like here, you're going to use the dab technique because we roughed it up quite a bit. So you're just going to dab that quite a bit. Just dab on the ends. And then I'll show you. We, we, we'll, we will add one more color. But I want to show you how to do, proceed to do this. And then you're going to do the same thing for the end here. Dab that. And then you're going to proceed to do the same for the stump. You're going to go up and down. So we're going up and down, up and down. So I'll show you. And we're going to go back and forth like that. You want to paint all around the stump in that manner. Then you also want to paint the inside of the stump, kind of dab it like this. You want to make sure you dab it really nice. And we will use a, a nice light tan color because we want to make it look like that log is rotting and that, that the stump is rotting. I'm going to take and put that in there. And the color that we want to use right now is a nice like, little tan, light tan color. And we will proceed to use that. I'll take that out. And we will take 
and I'll use a similar size brush like I had shown you before. And we're going to take, and we're going to dab this now. So this area here, we're just going to dab it. See, I'm just kind of dabbing that. It gives it a nice, a different color. So it almost creates that color that the log is, is rotting. See that? And we're going to proceed to do that to the, the end of the stump, too. Not, or the, the log that I did. We're going to do it on the ends here. Just going to dab it. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Dab right there like that. I'm going to dab it good. And that's to kind of create the effect that, you know, that the tree is rotting on the ends and things. And in this little hole area, you'll do the same thing here. Where we made that hole with the sculpting tool. So I will show you how it should look once it's painted. We have a finished version. We have this version here. As you can see, you can see the see how it it's got that nice light color that we just painted. And then you can see that on the ends here. And then I'll flip it around. I'll show you on the end here. And then how we did the rocks. And then how we did the green. That makes it look like grass. You know, there are other uh, techniques they can show you in the future where you can blend colors and things to make it more re realistic. But for our purposes right now, I want to keep it nice and simple. And I hope you enjoy doing the scenery tonight on Creations in Clay. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you. Hi kids, how would you like to win some professional modeling clay like the one that I use in the show? Please send pictures of your creations in clay and we will enter them into a drawing. You can send by mail or email and I can't wait to see what you've been up to.